Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In this video, we are going to learn about the very basic UI verifications functions like if the element is enabled or disabled, if it's visible or hidden, like that few of the functions that we mostly used in all our test script. Okay, so let's get started now. In my VS Code, I have created a folder called UI verification and within that I have a file called basicverification.test.ts and I have given the same file within the test match in my playwright test configuration file. Okay. So here you can see that we have a text box which is basically disabled. So we are going to verify whether it is disabled or not. Okay. So I'm going to right click and inspect and take the element. Uh, for that, I'm going to use the latex path here. And here we can see that we have a CSS value called no edit. Okay. So I'm just going to copy that. So first of all, you'll say like await and then we can use the function called is disabled. So is disabled is going to give us as a boolean, return us as a boolean. If it's disabled it will return as true if it's enabled it will it will return as a false okay so we can store that directly and um, or we can write the expect condition as well okay so if i have to write the expect i can say like this expect and within that this guy and then followed by i can say uh, to be true i can say like this or i also i can use like to be true thing okay so both are same nothing much difference okay so here i can say like to be um to be truthy okay and within that i should not pass anything okay so both are same uh so to be true this this is basically handle the promises by itself and if i want to check uh like with the help of boolean i can select to be true okay that's it so i'm going to use this one now let's go and run this now first so i'm going to run this so it's bring up my chromium browser and then it's going to be very quick Okay, if this test case is going to pass, then of course it is in disabled state or else it's going to be a enable state, right? Uh, it's going to the next one because uh, I have all this URL here. So I'll just uh, delete it or comment it as of now. Okay, now here you can see that the test passed basically because of course the field, this element is basically disabled, okay? just in case if i make it as false then of course it's going to fail okay so let me run and show you that okay now this time it's it's going to fail and as expected it got failed because the button the text input field is basically uh, disabled not enabled right and that's a very simple one okay so i'm going to command this now and then we are going to check whether if it's editable or not okay so that's going to be very very simple so we can take uh, the first import so of course this edit in editable state or uh, if i go with this one so this is if you can if you can see this is basically my uh, read only right so we cannot do the edit here right so what we are going to we are going to check this so i'm going to copy the css value and here i'm going to say await then followed by page dot is editable we have a function called is editable and then i'm going to give my locator okay so that's going to give me the uh, boolean so i'm going to store it here like it's edit edit okay and i can log this just for your reference and if i want to write expect condition definitely i can write okay so here i can say like edit uh, to be true that's it simple let me run this okay and here it says like um, uh, we expected true that's why it's false i mean that that's why it's failed because uh it is not editable right so here you can see that this is not editable that should be false so that is the reason it got failed okay so i can say like this so dot not to be that means i'm expecting this not to be editable okay i hope you got the idea so i'm not going to run this again okay now let's go and select the uh another example so we are going to check is enable or thing okay so is enable is basically the opposite of is disable is display it's is disabled means of course we cannot interact with this is enable means of course we can interact with that okay for example let me show you uh, so i'm going to take this url so buttons and here if i go back okay uh, let's take this example for example this uh, button right so this button is this button is actually disabled right so here we can see we have a unique id called disabled so i'm going to take that one and here i'm going to say uh, await page dot even we can use like this so we can find the element first and then we can store that element as a like element and then i can use the 
function okay so here i can say like uh, if the element is there then i will say like is enable okay so is enable so that's going to return me again boolean and the true or false okay so now in this case uh, it is actually disabled so we are going to get the false okay so i'm going to sys out that directly i mean console.log that directly okay if you want you can do the expect uh, you know already right so i'm going to run this now okay and here we are getting failure why we are getting failure um, because it says like uh, element is not there actually i think um, okay sorry for that so it's basically the promise so we have to resolve the promise if you notice here we are storing that but we didn't use that await right so that is the reason so basically we have to handle the await handle the promises or else we are going to mess like this only okay now this should work for sure let me run once again okay okay so here you can see that this guy is basically false uh, of course it's not i mean it's not uh, enable right so enable in the sense we can do the click actions but it is not enable so that's why you are getting that's false okay uh, now let's go to the next one so is hidden and is visible is going to be exactly opposite to each other it's hidden in the sense uh, if the element uh, is there but the style is style with the property of width and height is zero then probably it is as hid hidden okay i don't have actual uh, element to show you now so i will skip this but yeah very simple one okay is visible we can use the same element so here i can say like uh, console.log and i can say like await and then followed by element if the element is there we are going to check is visible okay uh is visible in the sense of course the element is there with height and width okay so that's going to be very very simple here so the element in this scenario is basically disabled this guy is disabled but it is visible in the ui so of course it should return us as a true okay okay and here you can see that one test passed and uh, the result is true so of course we know it right that's it very simple now let's go back and uh, it's giving us compile time error because i need to close the file and open again sometimes it happens uh, so just close the file and reopen it will fix it okay and that's i think that's a problem in my vs code maybe you might also see in some time okay so let me comment this guys and comment this one as well okay now okay the next thing is basically the radio button right how to interact with the radio inputs okay so i will go to this page called uh, radio so let me go to this page um, okay and here you can see that we have a element already that is checked correct that is already checked so i'm going to see or i'm going to do the verify whether it's checked or not okay so let's go and inspect this and here we do not we have only the xpath and all the xpath are related to the label and if i click on this input then i don't like any of this xpath so probably i can use this one this has like a dynamic one but still i will go with the playwright the finding element locator finding right so based on this text we are going to find this input method okay so i'm going to copy this one and here we'll find the element first so what we'll do we'll say like a week and page dot uh, dollar sign and then followed by this one or not this one directly so first of all we are going to find the input the radio button or the checkbox both will definitely have the input as a prop input as a tag name right so input and i'm going to say it is below the text um, and here also i have to use the colon and the text is basically this guy okay so trim it and that's it yeah okay so i'm going to find that i'm going to target the input that is below the text of this text okay and let's store that so i'm going to store it here like um, const uh maybe we'll just name it like checkbox okay and then we can say like if the element is there so i'm going to check the f if checkbox will do something else we'll throw an error okay so we'll say like throw new um error and we'll say that element not found 
okay okay uh, if this is enabled right so if this element is going to be already checked what i'm going to do i'm going to uncheck right so what can i do so i can write expect as well so I, i'm expecting this to be um true right so i can say like checkbox uh, dot is uh, is checked what yeah is checked is the function okay and of course do not forget to write the await okay so if this is going to be checked i'm going to say to be true okay so first uh, by default it is selected it is checked so i'm going to check for that and of course we can expect that true okay then what i'm going to do i'm going to uncheck this right so i'm going to say await then followed by checkbox where is that dot uncheck okay so dot uncheck is the function to uncheck and dot check is the function to check the um checkbox or the radio button okay so both are exactly same okay so now let's go and run this hopefully it should run if my locator is correct and here we got element not found okay so definitely the element is wrong i think let's go and check okay what mistake i did mm. okay so first of all we have this input and the below below the text we are going to find this one find if checkbox is selected uh yeah correct and i have the quotes and this bracket is closed and then this bracket is also closed okay um may it might be the loading issue as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to wait for this particular element okay so i'm going to say await page dot wait for selector and within this i'm going to pass this guy. okay so let me copy and paste okay and uh, here of course i have to pass this i think the locator is correct but uh, maybe uh, wait issue i think let's check okay so let's go to the page and um, yeah it's unchecked right so basically first time it's basically the loading issue i believe okay so that's it cool we are done with the radio button uh the checkbox both are same the way you handle it's going to be very same and also we learned like what is is enable is hidden is visible and is editable and is disable okay so these are the basic very basic ui verification functions that we use mostly okay so that's it for this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comments i'll be happy to reply you back okay so see you in the next one thanks for watching Tata, bye bye take care